Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Boot Boy Canos. Yes, and today we're bringing you some of that that Call of Duty Modern Warfare Death Team Deathmatch. Death yes, that's what we're gonna be bringing you because well, that just happens to be what I'm playing today. Normally, I've been on the uh, the division well, the division two for quite a bit, but I want to play some of that Call of Duty. You know, I already had it pre-ordered, so why not play it, right? Anyways, want to give you my quick thoughts on the game. As far as you know how I feel about it uh, as, as far as when it comes to Call of Duty this has probably been the best of Call of Duty that's been out uh, since uh, since the last one that I enjoyed which was uh, Black Ops 2 uh, there was you know I like you know some of the newer ones that dashing through the snow stuff I mean that was that was cool but you know it, it has its place and its time and you know and it's it's generation of people that that enjoy playing that game I, I just don't really happen to be one of those people that that enjoy that part of it. But you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. It's just not for me. But it's, it's what I do. You know, I'm typically more of a uh, Battlefield player, but Battlefield's pretty much been killing it for me. Pretty much after since Battlefield Four, that was that was the last Battlefield that I enjoyed playing. Everything else they came out with afterwards was pretty much. To me, at least it was crap. So I didn't enjoy playing those games at all and really didn't feel like even playing them for that matter. But, but, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Oh my goodness. Have they knocked it out of the park with this one? You know, they brought back the, the, old, you know, the old Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I guess it was, I guess it was called 4. I don't know. I, I, I owned it. I used to play it all the time. I think I used to play it on Xbox, if I'm not mistaken. That's when I used to play it, was on there. So, you know, it brought back a lot of those those memories, those feelings of the game. Um, kind of the, you know, the way the maps are kind of laid out in, in a way. I mean, granted that they're not the same, they don't look the same, but they, they kind of have that same, that same feeling, you know? So that you know, definitely have to enjoy that. And you know, if, if you're one of those people that play Call of Duty, uh, I would think you would enjoy this game. Now, if you're if you're you know like the really young generation who really didn't you know, got to really play, you know that those old COD games, or especially the old Modern Warfare, game, and you're more just. Yeah, I would say introduced to to the Enemy newer UAV stuff, overhead. the kitty stuff. Then this, this may not be your cup of tea. So I, you know, I, can, I can definitely see that being a possibility. Especially with a lot of the younger generation, they're into the whole uh, battle royale, being carpenters. You know, if I, I'm gonna play a shooter, I don't want to be a carpenter. I don't want to do that. You know, but you know, there's there's a place and a time for that. Which is why when it came out of, when it came to Battle Royale, the one that I would end up playing was uh, Apex. I, I, I liked Apex, you know, I mean, I'm a big fan of it, you know, but at least at least I liked it. You know, just to play here and there and from time to time. So you know that was cool. You know, but I'm more of the uh, you know, boots on the ground type of player, military style. Not World War II. I, I cannot stand World War II type of game. Which is why Battlefield 5, I never bought it. I skipped on it. I mean, I played it, you know, while I was doing my little Origin uh, membership. But I did not keep that for very long. Because, you know, I just didn't like Battlefield 5. I don't, I don't want to play with them old time guns. You know, if I'm going to play with something futuristic, I may as well just play with, you know, a Apex type of guns. I don't want to play with the more War II style, you know. But that's it's just personal preference. You know, which player to play? Which you, what you know, what you do? So it really doesn't matter all too too much. But you know, it's pretty much you know you play the game you, that you enjoy. You play it on the platform that you want to play and that you you enjoy playing on. Hell, and if most of your friends are on the same platform. I can understand you playing on that because I know when I originally when I was gonna get Call of Duty, 
I was kind of deciding, okay, do I get it for the PlayStation? Because that's where most of all my friends are at. Or do I get it for the PC? Because of the graphic core. Well, you know which one I picked because, of course, I picked the PC. And the PC is where I'm going to end up playing it all. Just, I just enjoy playing games on a PC. I know, like, especially with the Division, I play that on PC and I got a couple hundred hours on that game. I know with, with Call of Duty out, Call, well, Call of Duty being out now, uh, well, I'll probably still play the Division more. And I, I, I do really enjoy the game. But there are times where I just want to go bang, bang, you know, just bang, bang with people. And Call of Duty is going to end up being that game. Uh, I know when it comes to shooters, hands down, shooter of the year is definitely Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I mean, if anybody says different, I, <laughs> man, I don't, I don't know what <laughs> what cup of tea y'all are drinking. But uh, yeah, Call of Modern Warfare is definitely going to be shooter of the year. I mean. They definitely changed it a whole lot drastically and you know and, and it's a it's a gorgeous looking game but then again a lot of a lot of these new games have, you know are, are, are really gorgeous so they kind of have to you know, step up with the times so, you know, even if you play the division the division is a beautiful game um, what's that new the new um uh, not Wildlands, so break, Breakpoint, you know, that's that's also a beautiful game. I just personally didn't enjoy Breakpoint, so I didn't, uh, I, I skipped out on that game. But, you know, from a fidelity standpoint, you know, Call of Duty definitely had to bring it. You know, they couldn't, the whole goofy looking style is what they were doing, pretty much, you know? I was, I was thirsty, had to, to get me a sip sip in there. But anyways, I'm going to pretty much leave it there. You know, you can definitely let me know your thoughts and uh, likes and dislikes about this game. You can put it in the comments, it's more than welcome. And, uh, you know, don't forget to uh, definitely subscribe. Hit that, you know, hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, the notification button. So you know whenever we put out a new video, you know, I don't put them out every day, so I'm not going to bombard you with videos. But at least you'll know when they'll, when they'll be coming out. And, you know, and definitely hit the like button, because it definitely helps. You know, another night, you know, like I said, play the game on the, on, the, on the system that you want, that you prefer. And just make sure that you yourself enjoy the game. And, you know, and don't let someone else enjoy the game for you, unless they're going to pay for the game. You know, then you can let them pay for it, and, you know, they can, they can say whatever they want. As long as you keep playing the game, though, right? <laughs> I like cluster strike. All right. Well, it's been your boy, Boo Boy Channel, and as always, keep them scratching. Peace. We up out of here, baby. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy precision airstrike inbound. Enemy into my car.